welcome to Happily Handmade. It's Wendy and this is part two of my colouring supplies video for August. Um, mainly because I talked for far too long about my books. Uh, that video went on for quite a while so um, I've had to do my colouring equipment uh, as this second part of a video. So I'm going to talk you through exactly what I've bought this month. Um, obviously I'm on holiday this month, I've not been on holiday this month, so what have I done instead? Bought stuff, that's what I've done instead, but you know, I've not had a holiday, so nah, whatever. Oh, that's all avalanching on top of me now. <laughs> it stopped, hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, so I'm totally blaming Colour K for this particular lovely purchase. So a 30 set of water-based brush tip acrylic mar markers by Art. Artex. Um, yeah, I've been looking at the other set of these that they done for a while. I think um, Doodle Robot bought them quite a while ago. We did talk about them quite a bit and the colour palette wasn't totally my thing um, and they didn't seem too opaque when she was testing them and using them so I've kind of held off but then these beauties popped up, which are definitely much more my colour palette. So this lovely pastel shade, you get two trays, which when you have nails like I do, is not the easiest to pick up. Um, but yeah, lovely colour palette. Really, I'm really pleased with them actually. Um, these were on offer. I noticed after Kay had popped them up on her video, when I looked at Amazon, they had a voucher available. And in the UK, we don't get a huge amount of vouchers on Amazon. Um, it's quite a novel thing, but I've noticed a few popping up lately. So I have been, uh, yeah, I'll have whatever that is off. Um, so yeah, I got these for a little bit cheaper. So I was even more pleased. They're a really nice um, pen. I did a little bit of playing with them last night and I was quite pleased with them. They don't have numbers on. As you can see, I've numbered mine. They are one sided. They have this very nice brush tip. It's kind of a foamy brush tip, but it's, it's quite firm brush tip. Um, and the the acrylic is quite liquid, I think would be how I'd describe them. I don't think it's fully um, a liquid ink that's in them. I think it's a little bit thicker than that, but it's certainly more towards um, a liquid ink that's in them. But I think they make a really handy little pen for colouring. I did do a little swatch, which if I'd had a brain, I'd have found the page before I started this video, but I don't, so I didn't. Uh, bear with me while I try and find a page in here which is like Mission Impossible. Oh, there we go. That was a good guess. So, ignoring that row because that row is not it. But these are it. All I did in these little lo lozenges was literally with my um, alcohol marker, I've made a little black square towards the end of each of these little lozenges because I wanted to see how well they would cover black in particular because they are quite pale colours and they aren't the thickest of acrylic um, markers so I was interested to see how well they would cover black. I am probably going to use these as you've probably gathered by now to cover some black lines occasionally so if they don't do that for me they're not much use really and overall bearing in mind I use Posca's for that quite often I think they've they stood up pretty well really most of them You've got a reasonable amount of courage, cover, courage, <laughs> coverage even, um, as it's built up over the black. And I, I'm fairly pleased with um, how they've done most of the colours. Some of these I wouldn't describe as pastel. That purple is definitely not pastel. I'm not sure I'd describe that tealy colour as a pastel either. But it's a nice colour palette. It's a colour palette that I will use a lot in colouring books. It's these kind of colours where I generally do want to remove the black lines because the colour is light next to the line so it's the black line is really obvious. So it's not always the end of the world if it's not completely opaque that it's just knocked it back so it's not in your face in the drawing. Um, the white's not super strong. I don't think the white will ever replace my Posca white. Um, that is obviously much more opaque. 
the yellows I would have liked a little bit stronger in terms of opacity but overall it's a set that can, especially considering the price I'm really quite pleased with um, when you consider how much one Posca is for this set I've got a lot um, of markers in some really quite nice shades and I think that would be my other criticism of Posca really that their pens are great let's be honest but they aren't cheap and the colour palette in them is quite unnatural it's a very bright vivid palette when when you want some kind of subtle skin or softer flower colours or more gentle sky tones the colours that they have in the Posca palette for their marker pens is very in your face so a set like this is really useful and I will use it a lot um, let me try and get rid of that without knocking everything flying but like I say the only downside there's no numbers there's no colours on them there is an actual colour thing in the back but I've got to put them all back in otherwise they'll all fall everywhere there is actual colours and numbers in the back there if my phone wants to focus no it does not it does not want to read it no but I've just literally I put those on some little stickers and then as I swatch them on my chart I put the stickers on um, so that I know then um, what they are I'm thinking I'll probably do myself a little swatch in here as well so that when I've actually got this out I don't have to go rooting for my book every time because sometimes that's going to be annoying isn't it um as i get to use them more i'll start to know which is which I, I think generally the lid match to the ink is not bad some of the yellows are a little bit out the pinks i think are a much better match um but yes yeah, so far i'm really pleased with these how long will they last that is my question with these at the moment um i have some of these ones let me see if i can reach it without knocking it over i have some of these deco brush um pigment karen art markers that my husband very kindly bought me at christmas these are beautiful pens they're a very similar pen in that it has a foam brush it has a liquid acrylic ink um but some of these have even though I've kept them exactly as Deco Brush have instructed, I'm still struggling to get a good flow with some of these, even though I've soaked the bristles and the joys of acrylic markers. Sometimes they can be more trouble than they're worth, can't they? So at the moment, I'm loving these. Will I still love these in six months' time or will they be starting to dry out and be, you know what it's like, I'll a bit of paint no no you can have a gap no you can have another gap oh no you can have a bit more paint we'll see at the moment they're working beautifully they're super smooth so at the moment i'm delighted i hope to continue to be delighted with them but who knows then this is a tricky one really because i have been doing this coloring journal and i i really i've enjoyed doing this journal it's really nice. I started a small one before Christmas um, and I thought, yes, I really like this size and I do like this size of book. It's worked really nicely. I enjoy having this kind of record of the pages that I'm working in, of things that I've bought that month, but mainly the pages that I've worked in and how it's developed. Uh, what materials I've worked, sad events that have occurred occasionally, skip, skip past that, you know how old I am now. Um, uh, and yeah, I've really enjoyed working in here over this time and it kind of gives a nice flick through of my colouring journey this year. Um, I haven't loved this paper, I think that's the first thing. It's I don't find it very easy to stamp on and that I definitely did want to do and that is my lovely dog she's a beautiful dog <laughs> she's mainly looks like this when I'm coloring though that that's the mat on the floor here by me normally asleep zian <laughs> um anyway I, I digress sorry <laughs> um so this book as beautiful as it is has now got to the point where it is, as you can see, 
these pages at the back are pretty much impossible to work on because it's basically just a curve. Um, so I've underlined about what to do about this book quite a lot and because it's got all curved at the back it's kind of put me off working in it a little bit and so I haven't done this month or last month I don't think I've done last month either which is annoying me a bit and as you can see there's pages in here that I haven't finished either just because it's got to the point where it's hard work to work in here because of this curve that's going on so I have thought okay right I like it but it's not working so <laughs> Hence why I'm talking about it now. I've got to the point where I've had to go, no, something else is going to have to do it. I want something that's a bit more of a straightforward layout that I don't have to do quite as much work to keep up with it because whilst it's okay while I'm off on holiday at the moment, um, long term when I'm back at school and I'm busy, it needs to be a quicker format for me. So I've got this lovely Sea Rights book, which is a brand that's made in uh, the UK, it's made in Brighton. Um, it's a supplier that we use quite a lot in school actually. They make absolutely fantastic handmade sketchbooks. So when I saw this one pop up, I thought actually that looks like a great book. I know the paper will be good quality because it's sea whites. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get this one. So it's it's bigger than my last one certainly. I don't want to put that down because that was stupid of me, wasn't it? It's a good chunk bigger and I'm thinking I'm going to simplify it in that I'm not going to have just one page for one page of colouring. I'm going to do a number of pages of colouring in one page. So maybe for a month I'll only end up with maybe two pages um, of a layout so that my book isn't getting to that ridiculous it's so thick can't work point. Um, so I bought this one for my new journal and has a little um, catch on it as well. It's nothing special. It's, I'll probably do something with the front cover at some point this month when I get a minute. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be my new journal. I also bought, as you probably saw last month, can I reach it? This one, which is also a Sea Rights book that I've already started working in. It was in last month's finished pages. Bought those at the same time. They're from the same supplier. They're both Sea White's really nice books. Um, and then I've got this one, which I think I got from Hobbycraft actually, but it does happen to be the same branded. These are a um, fiber board background. So it's really, chunky little book that I really quite liked. I thought this would be a great chuck in your bag because it's wood, it's going to protect itself. I keep getting sent loads of postcards in my, I've got a watercolour subscription, is it Sketch and Sorry? I think it's Sketch and Sorry and she keeps sending me lovely beautiful postcards and I thought actually I'd quite like a book to keep them in um, and other things. So I've got that one really for my collection of nice postcards that I keep getting sent from my scrawler box and sketch and story and a few other bits and pieces that I just want to keep together. So I'm thinking I kind of scrap them into this book and then I've got my journal, colouring journal book and then my other art journal book. And those are my new three books to replace my sad, I do love this, it's a lovely size but it's literally dry. This is literally driving me mad. I clearly stick too much in these. So I think I had to find a way that it worked for me that wasn't like that. But sad, but needed to do a bit of renovation. So other things that I got this month were paints. I know. I, I was being fairly good and I bought this one, the Pastel Shades um paint pan set i don't know why i find that difficult to say but i do um in and it's only a small little palette quick dibby palette and but yeah i quite fancied just having a palette that already had a, um a palette of pastel-y light colors yes i know i'm being lazy here i could mix them that's what your whites for but i thought when you're doing background and you just want a consistent kind of level of right a soft pink or a soft purple or something like that i thought this is probably going to be ideal i've not opened them yet as you can see they're still full of their little plastic so i thought i'll give this a go it was on a good little offer on amazon um 
so yeah i bought this one and that was it i was gonna just buy this one this month that was all i was interested in then dan naughty boy bought this i think he bought it for his birthday didn't he so at least he had an excuse but then i thought oh actually that would be really useful as well and i don't have any of the in intense palettes um so yeah this fell into my basket again i've not played with this too much yet can't even open it let me in let me in there we go so rather than getting the two separate palettes i did plump for this big one because i thought well i'll only lose one because i'm an idiot and i will um they all both come with these little midget little <laughs> brush things i don't know why because you could fit a big one in there couldn't they really but yes the um little uh inktense paint pan studio set and because i got it from cult pens you can also order a little metallic sample which i you might have seen pop up on my video last month i think i did use it on a page that now escapes me which one but yeah it's a lovely little metallic paint i have undid hard about it it's lovely but I, as you know i have quite a few um paints i've made some gold myself it is nice I've already got quite a lot of nice ones. I wish I could take it out of here. That does bug me. It's on like a wooden block and it's totally stuck in there. You cannot get it out. So yeah, it's a bit sneaky, but it was a nice tester. I may consider the um, palette at some point. So, excuse me while I have a drink. And downside of having the light on is it makes my throat dry up. <clears throat> So what I thought was I was going to swatch them. So I've prepared myself two swatch sheets. So I think these were a stamp that I got from Shine, videos on the channel. Um, they, I think they were a pound, something like that. There's a whole sheet of brushes, but I thought the thick brush in particular would be perfect to swatch these paints out so I could have a strong and then light version of it. And then I've just made this one for the little pastel palette as well that I've labelled out as well. So I'm going to quickly now just um, swatch all these out for both of these and then you can have a look at it. I have just hand stamped these because this is how sad I am. So these are stamped in uh, Stazon ink, which is a solvent based ink. Um, so it should fingers crossed it shouldn't run when I put either of those two sections in it it did take a bit of time <laughs> stamping these it would have been easier if I just had a laser printer and could have just um, <coughs> scanned one of these <laughs> brushes and made my own sheet and printed it in laser but my laser printer's not working so I've had to do it the hard way but you know I don't care so anyway I'm going to pause you I'm going to swatch all these out and then we can have a look when it's fresh in my mind uh, of what my thoughts are on all of these beauties that I just bought.
Okay, so there we have it. So my little um, tiny pastel shades paint palette uh, pastel. I, I swapped the light as you might have noticed when I was doing that on fast forward because when I was looking at the feed of me painting it the colours really weren't representative of what I was seeing so I think this light is a bit better representation of what I can actually see in the palette in real life um, and yeah I, I'm pretty pretty pleased with them there's some colours I really quite like um, I'm not sure I'd describe this as flamingo I think it needed a bit more pink in it um, but it's quite an interesting colour palette some of these will definitely be useful if I'm in a lazy mood and I don't want to actually mix my own um, I think this will be a useful little palette I've not um, had a play with this little mini um, brush it has that uh, bristle on it it's got some glue on it I think at the moment but I suppose if I was out and about and traveling that's a, a pretty cute little weeny little uh, brush to go in traveling with it um, it's quite a cute little palette if you can get it for a decent price it might be worth a buy um, I think I most like though definitely the um, Inktense palette I think these are brighter than I even thought they would be these are really strong particularly because I've just just painted with these ones that are obviously watercolour they're not in ink tense they're not ink um obviously these are supposed to be pastel so they're supposed to be a light pale shade but in comparison these just zing don't they they really are very strong pigment and i can see this palette lasting a very long time because of it they're only small um pans uh, I think they feel a little bit smaller than a quarter pan even to me because they're not, I don't know if you, how well you can see, but they're, they're definitely not all of them are even anywhere near filling these little palettes. There's there's big gaps down the side of them, so it doesn't even feel like it's a complete filled quarter palette. But the pigment in them is so strong, a little goes a very long way. And particularly if you're picking some of the very dark pigments, the fuchsia, dark plum, violet, um, the racing green, I think it was, Ionian green, um, Payne's grey, even though I had a, one brush worth and I wasn't using a massive brush, that was almost too much paint. I, I feel I could have picked up half of what I, I picked up there and I still could have done another four brushes with the amount of colour um, and I think that would have uh, watered down to a really nice tone as well same with the natural brown same with the black even though I didn't have a huge amount of paint because it wasn't a massive brush that I was using that pigment just seemed to go on and on I could have diluted that so much more um, so in terms of value for money I think this is a really good palette I think I paid 32 something like that UK pounds from cut pens I think it was on offer it, it I think on Amazon it was 40 something when I was looking but I'm, I'm really pleased with this as a purchase I see this palette going on and on and on and if you want colors that are really strong this is a great palette for it like I say small amount of pigments seem to go so far um, on this it is watercolor paper that I've swatched this on but it's only a very cheap watercolor paper it's not a massive Good quality one I think it's um fiber castell one actually but it's one of the cheaper range like student ranges but it fits through my printer so when my printer when I'm doing something that I'm not going to put water on my my inkjet this is a great um, paper to put through when you just want something that's got a bit more uh, body to it but yeah really pleased with the ink 10 set not sure how i use it obviously the, the bonus is that once this is dry that's it it's it's dry isn't it you can work over with watercolor wash if i wanted to i could do another layer of this and it's not going to touch what's already there it gives you options doesn't it an intense palette like this um and obviously i could work over with my intense pencils so yeah i'm really quite pleased uh with this set not the cheapest of paint palettes by all means but I think in terms of how long it'll last and the options that it gives you 
um, yeah I'm really quite pleased with it the one thing I didn't do was do a little swatch of this uh, metallic or did I just put my pot of water so I shall briefly do that it like I say I think it was a really it is a really nice metallic obviously ideally a metallic you leave a little bit longer to wet and react but tough <laughs> I'm just gonna go with it now because I forgot so we'll do it in we'll do it in this one down the bottom yeah it's not dissolved brilliantly I think it's a nice metallic it, it has got a really nice uh, sheen to it um, I'm just not sure it's miles better than the ones I've already got so far it hasn't made me rush to buy the metallic pan uh, set it, I like it I'll, I'll use this little sample up definitely in an ideal world I'd have taken it out of there but I can't get it out of there because for some reason they've made it so you can't but um, yeah as you can see it's got a really nice shine to it you can get it quite even which can be a problem with some metallic watercolours they can look a bit patchy I think this dries really nicely it does have a really nice sheen um, if you don't have metallic paints certainly these are a good quality if you want to uh, invest in them and the, the metallic paint set from Derwent isn't that much compared to, I think it's a similar price to this little pastel one that I've just bought so I'm just going to pause you and I'm going to move all this because there's stuff everywhere and I'm so going to knock the water over because I'm an idiot so back in a sec okay so we're back so the other place I did an order from this month was um Craftalia, which I think is um, a Spanish, oh what's getting stuck here, a Spanish um, craft supply shop, um, they had a sale on, um, I was very tempted, first things not a huge amount of people will probably be interested in but these are quite um, nice little moulds that I've bought so they're only really super shallow so I'm thinking I'm gonna mold a few bits and pieces for the front of my art journal or even for some tags or something like that so i did buy again it's not a product i've used but a stampera soft white clay extra light and it, is, it weighs nothing um i have actually used various different clays at school and it weighs a ton it really is heavy stuff clay this is obviously a paper clay it weighs absolutely nothing this is only a tiny little bag of it um I think it was two pounds something like that um but it's supposed to be quite strong once it's dry so i thought if i'm gonna have it in a book and it's gonna get bashed about that would be quite useful so i've got this very nice little heart one i've got some butterflies i've got some flower furries and some flowers i've got some letters because i thought that would be really useful i'm always looking for letter stickers for my uh, colouring journal so I thought occasionally I could just it depends how light I can make them because these are very quite shallow so I thought maybe I could make some three-dimensional letters for my book and finally mainly because I was looking for that other heart one and I couldn't find it at the time I've got this other one that at some point this holiday I might have an experiment and see if I can make something can I even get it out of there who knows that's going to be my next question and then again thinking back to my colouring journal really um, I've done quite a lot of pages where I thought you know what it'd be just nice if I just had a background paper in that kind of theme so I've bought some of these I'm just going to pause and de-plastic all of these and then I shall be back and yeah so <laughs> unplastic so we don't have loads of glare so yeah these were all on sale at Craftalia and I hadn't really seen any of these in real life but I thought just small bits of these would be really handy for a journal for my, for my colouring journal when I just want a bit of something to go in the background and I don't want to have to do it myself so I thought there's quite a lot of little um, papers and little bits and pieces I could cut out out of these so this is obviously kind of oriental looking page that I thought would be really useful it's just an 8x8 eight eight, double sided um, but I thought these would be quite cute in my journal as well so there's that one 
This one's Alchemy, that again, thought for the same reason. I love doing owls. I've got quite a lot of witchy pages. Um, and I thought if I just want something to go next to a colouring photograph in my colouring journal, these might be handy for either backgrounds or for little bits and pieces that are in it. Um, again, quite cute. Obviously, I have a lot of Alice pages because I have quite a lot of Alice books. Um, I didn't want a massive book. Which way does this open? Oh, top to bottom. Sorry, being, being thick. So it's got little bits on the back. Oh, more fingers and thumbs. It's got really cute little chess people. Figures. People. What am I talking about? Um, but I thought there's lots of cute little bits in this book. It's very difficult. The cards, as you can see, are double sided. So you can actually cut them out exactly as they are. They've got fronts and backs to them. But there's loads of little bits that I thought would be really handy if I just wanted to illustrate a page that I'd done an Alice in Wonderland page in my book and I just wanted a little bit of something to go with it in my colouring journal. I thought these would be ideal to go in. It's very difficult to show this coming back and forward but yeah from sayings to little bits and pieces I just thought it was really cute. So little collectibles one and the same but with the oriental theme. I'm only going to keep it one way, sorry. And then maybe I'll flip it the other way to make sense. But lots of little bits and pieces. These little people are double sided as well. So you've got the front of them, but then you've got the back of them. So if you wanted them so that were maybe standing out or something, or you wanted to be able to turn them over, you could. And if I flip it the other way, you can see the backs of those sheets because they're double sided. But I just thought for little bits of cut, up, cut out, where maybe I didn't have a sticker that fitted, I thought something like that would be quite cute. This, purely because it is, I think it's rice paper, this particular one, but I thought, I think I'm going to um, collage some of these to the front of my journal because they're just so beautiful images. And I thought these would look really lovely just on the front because my journal's just black. I thought it'd make it a bit more interesting. And then obviously Alice, can't get enough of it. Don't know where the seam is on this. Which way does it open? Sideways. But again, more little bits and pieces that kind of go, they're very similar to the other book that I've just showed. I'll go through quickly because I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, patterned paper and things like that. I'm not going to use it as whole sheets. I'm just going to cut little bits and pieces out here and there for my journal. So it probably isn't what it's designed for. But I just thought, I don't know, exactly know what this brand Stampira's like, but from what I'd seen online, it seemed to be quite good quality. And it was really not super cheap, but a lot cheaper in the Craftalia sale. So I dived at it. Quite looking forward to playing with some of those. Then I did go to um, Hobbycraft, which is the big um, art and craft chain store that we have in the UK. We only really have the one. We don't have um, any other big kind of warehousey art and craft stores. I know you have a few in America, but we literally just have the one. Um, the works that I think we mention quite often is literally just a small bookshop. It, it's not a massive, great big art place. Anyway. I spotted a few things, some of which were on sale, some of which I just thought, oh yeah, maybe I could use that little um, die. This is literally like a little camera. So you've got some dies, which I may or may not use, but I thought I'll use the stamps and for 50p, why not? Same with this one, uh, Vicky Bhutan. Again, I thought the stars would be really nice in my journal. It comes in this really nice little wallet that you can keep it in. So you've got the, little stamps which all seem pretty good quality and then on the back if you're being lazy you've also got the dies that come with it i do have um a big shot uh, that you can obviously cut the dies out with um but i'd probably just cut the, st the star out myself with some scissors it's probably going to be quicker weren't they but again three pounds i thought it's in a re really nice little um wallet i did have a look to see if i could see any more of this brand because i really as a storage system i thought this was really nice that you've got the the stamp you've got the dies if you want it it's already got a little ring bound um zippered wallet i thought that was a really good little thing but i, I can't see in in the uk i can't see any more of these certainly not three pound then i do like a woodworth stamp 
and these again I was thinking would go in my uh, art journal and obviously I always like a mushroom house so when I saw that that just jumped into my basket straight away because I thought that would work really nicely in my journal and then they had these other two which again I like some little chirpy insects and a little kind of zen doodly lotus flower type um, image I thought was really nice as well and woodworth stamps um, I've had I've got woodworth stamps from years and years and years ago they yellow a little bit but the quality of them is always second to none they print beautifully they still stamp no matter what ink you've used with them um, some stamps can react to stays on in particular because it's a solvent but I've not had any trouble with woodworth they've always worked really nicely so I got those this was also on sale I don't buy a huge amount of Gemini stuff but this was just too cute not to again I thought these little it has the stamps and it has some dies and it has a silly deaf paper template thing that I probably will never use but um the stamps are just cute the only thing I did think oh look there's that tea I was looking for ages ago how did it get on the back of there that's bizarre the only thing I did think when I opened these because obviously I couldn't open them in the shop because you can't can you with the old gone hidden somewhere in the depths is that these are quite small stamps and I kind of imagine as the box is this size I kind of imagine them a bit bigger than this but no they're not a bit bigger than this but I do still like them they're nice little cute stamps that my phone does not want to focus on come on you know you want to or not no apparently it does not there we go a little bit better but yeah the so you've got some deer you've got a squirrel you've got a little um, bunny some more little mushrooms and some trees and things that I thought might be quite nice and they'll fit quite nicely in my coloring journal or they'll also fit in my um, art journal I thought that might quite work as well but yeah I just wish they were a little bit bigger it has put me off buying any more of these kind of sets because they do feel like they're mm, they're a little bit small if I hadn't bought it on sale at a very good price I'd have been quite disappointed with that I think really if I'd bought that at full price I kind of imagined that set of stamps much bigger and I think that was all my things from Hobbycraft in that pile these I got from a craft show um, towards the end of last month really but these were just pickups that again I was thinking for my art journal that I'd really enjoy colouring them once I've stamped them so you can basically juggle this about so you can make her tail massive so I think you stamp her and you stamp wherever you want the end of the tail and then you basically join the two together and you've got a few other little bits and pieces that you can add into it so these are Clarity Stamps which is um, a UK branded um, stamp um, but yeah you can basically just play about with it and you draw in the rest of the tail between the body and the little um, fin and then the same with this one another one that uh, is a clarity stamp one that you can just uh, add in a little, little he looks like he's singing the wolf Ooh. but I thought he was cute um, and again just from my art journal pages really I thought it'd be a nice nice page to experiment with and you can add loads of other things in the background and then obviously I can colour it in as though it were a colouring page um, but it'll be in my journal rather than um, on a colouring page and then these were just, I think these were from AliExpress just cheap different bits and pieces so for my journal when I'm being lazy and I don't want to do a title a little alphabet stamp some little ladies that again I thought might be quite nice to colour in in my journal if I just want to make a bit of um, some texture marks behind something I've got a little texture uh, stamp again just from Ali that I thought could be useful and I think this came with um, a stamping magazine that I got this month but I've stupidly taken it out but just little coast scenes that I might make a card with this month because it's my uncle's birthday so if I do make him a card I might share it with my finished colouring pages this month got for my colouring journal if I move some space because uh, stuff everywhere my two sticky club um, subscriptions so I do pop and I do vintage so my pop you've got this little um, flaming heart for forces of nature you've got a little pad that has a little girl at the bottom my camera does not want to focus today little girl at the bottom 
And then I'll whiz through these very quickly because I know they're not everybody's cup of tea, but I did think these were beautiful. So you've got these people in lots of different overgrown um, sections um, that I thought were really cute. And you've got these kind of little side bits that match some of the other pages. So this one has a matching one. And I thought they were really cute, just really nice, cute little pages that are really lovely. Got this one that again you could obviously use in my colouring journal. Great if you just want to put add some little labels or some notes in. Some cute little ice lollies on there. Then you've got some witches, some flying people, and some gemstones. So I thought that was a really nice little pack. And then my vintage this month, I really liked the little um, stamp that came with vintage this month. I'm probably not going to be able to show you very well because my camera doesn't want to play today at all, does it? Will it be better on a white background a little bit? So an enchanted land. It's a little castle, almost in a snow, uh, snow globe. It's really quite cute. I quite like it. And then you have a little pad that has this gentleman on a horse. And stickers this month for vintage were some really beautiful ones. So they've got these lovely portrait ones. And people for lying. These I really love. Almost like things getting overgrown. The earth being reclaimed kind of look. These little stamps that are all kind of night themed that are cute more little note journal sections these that have got days of the week on now i don't really do a day of the week must write on every day so i don't know how i'm going to use these but looking with a little monday tuesday i could just crop them off and just use this the stamp without them on and then those are two final ones so yeah that was my sticky club and i think finally breathe a sigh of relief that is all my art and craft stuff for this month of August like that wasn't enough Whew. so yeah I know not a huge amount of kind of um, equipment that I would use in my colouring per se but a lot of stuff for my colouring journal and for my art journal that I'm also going to do bits and pieces a lot of what will happen in my art journal is colouring it's just I'm stamping them rather than buying an individual book that's how I see it working I've got a lot of stamps already because I was a card maker so I just want to be able to use those in a more creative way in the same way I do with my colouring really um, it seems to make better use of some of the things I already have um, obviously I've bought some more <laughs> as well but yeah hopefully there might be bits and pieces that have interested you along the way thank you very much for watching bye bye <laughs>